So, had some trouble with my quad overheating. Um, turns out my fan was uh, had been caked with mud and wasn't uh, turning freely. So, it was actually uh, it burned up the wire in front of it because uh, the fan motors, once they get dirty, if they can't turn freely. The series one motors will draw more current, uh, trying to draw faster, just like they do when they first start up. So I replaced the fan, and uh, fortunately it came with the chunk of wire that was damaged in front of it. Though I still had, the fan started working fine, I still had some heating issues, and I believe my thermostat here isn't working properly. Uh, one thing I learned from the book, um, my manual, is that if you actually take this lead off your um, thermal sensor on the te engine temperature, that um, it actually, the fan will just start running. So that's in case this wire ever fails, uh, your fan will just start running. That would have been good to know on the trail. I would have uh, appreciated having a fan running versus not running. Anyways, I'm going to pop this off and I'll be putting on a new temperature sensor. I had one uh, that I just bought uh, online. Uh, pretty easy install. I just uh, got to pop wire off, unscrew it, and uh, screw the new one in, pop the wire in, and done. If that doesn't fix my issues, then uh, I will then probably make the effort of uh, swapping out the, the thermostat, which is here, just above, uh, as well as the water pump on the other side. Um, not going to do that today. I don't think I need to, uh, because the fan was having, it seemed like it was having, uh, it, it would, um, run fine and then just not come on every once in a while uh, but once I let the engine cool even a little bit uh, it would start running so it seems to me like it might be a uh, temperature sen uh, temperature sensor issue so hopefully that's it we shall see all right I'm gonna see if I can do a quick swap here I'm being lazy and uh, not draining all my coolant recommended but this is what I'm doing so I lost a little bit so I'll make sure I top this up but I didn't lose very much at all I didn't feel like draining my whole system just to swap this plug and if it's as I have a sneaking suspicion if I do need to change my thermostat and water pump I will be draining the system back in. So that's uh, done. We'll take her for a spin let her heat up but uh, if I have more issues you'll see more posts. So I've been doing some uh, troubleshooting on my cooling system on my ATV. Uh, what I've opted to do is actually put in a switch just so I can turn on the fan automatically in case I'm on the trail again and um, I overheat. I've replaced my uh, temperature sensor. Um, still having some issues once I get rolling. Um, after about 30-40 minutes the fan seems to be uh, cutting in and out a little bit so I want the option to actually just leave it on while I do a bit more troubleshooting. I think I might have some wiring damage. Um, I'm going to actually replace the wiring between the switch and here because uh, once the fan's running it seems to cool it just fine. So you can see I've tapped into the line just before my fan. Um, I'm just running that up into my top of my um, my ATV where the instrument panel is. I've got a switch. So I've got one power switch uh, connected to the top there. The other power switch ties into the accessory line 
um, off my my uh, winch. So I've also put a fuse in there. I just put an inline uh, 20 amp fuse just to give myself a little protection. So now on the front of the machine, I've got uh, just a little switch that I can turn it on and off. So it doesn't do anything obviously now when it's off because I've wired into the accessories. But if I just turn my accessories on, there you, go, you can hear it running. I now have the option of actually just turning that on. So we'll see. Uh, I'll post uh, some more if I uh, find out anything else as to why I'm having issues with the uh, fan continually running or not. But um, otherwise, uh, hopefully this will be a one-off video. So you can see here, there's lots of corrosion inside this little sealed packet where the uh, circuit breaker was. So pretty sure this guy's shot and the source of my problem, but uh, I'm going to swap it out and uh, hopefully that'll fix my fan issue. So I replaced the circuit breaker um, with the new one that I just got off of uh, Amazon. Uh, the fan started up once already, um, just waiting for a couple more cycles because what was happening in the past is that uh, it would run fine a couple times, but once I got the machine really warmed up, then I believe the circuit breaker was starting to fail, and you hear the fan kind of surging, and it, I uh, have a little video, hopefully you can hear that earlier, uh, so you know what it sounds like, but it basically just sounded like the fan was starting and kind of stopping, starting, stopping, never getting up to full speed. Uh, definitely was running full speed a second ago, and I'll uh, record it running uh, full speed in a second again when it starts up. There you can hear the fan running full speed. It seems to run faster than uh, when I run it under my auxiliary switch, so I'm not wondering if I'm giving it enough power, but I ran it for a full day with that switch uh, with no issues whatsoever, so either way, I'm uh, going to let this go about uh, four or five more uh, cycles just to make sure it's heating up, cooling down, been revving it. I might move the quad around a little bit while I do this too, but hopefully this is a wrap and uh, I have no more videos to add to this uh, series for trying to figure out why my machine was overheating.